what Sarbanes Oxley did, I think, was address the, the fundamental loss in confidence in financial reporting. And, and in addressing that fundamental lack of confidence, we've created a structure to address that issue. Uh, and, and I think what will happen in the future is that there will be a change in the marketplace and something else will happen. But I think we have, we have in, a very, in a very real way, addressed the issue du jour as of five years ago. Uh, true enough. On the other hand, you know, one can still game the accounting system, it seems to me, um, totally legally. I mean, the thing people forget about Enron is um, the vast majority of the games they played were, were legal. They were terrible, but they were, and they added up to a fraud, but they were technically legal. In, in, in many cases, that was the case. And I think what you have now is that there are many, is that Sarbanes and Oxley have provided checks and balances that weren't there. And I think that there is, that there is a sense, that there are two other components I think that are important. Uh, one is that there is a respect today for internal controls, and I think that's what Senator Sarbanes was suggesting uh, also, that didn't exist five years ago. And so you do not just find that level of respect for a control environment in the publicly traded companies, but you even find it in the not-for-profits and you find it in the, in the, in the non-publicly traded companies. So there's a higher expectation for the quality of internal controls. And I think that, there, that the oversight responsibility of boards, uh, I think, is, is much different than it was before. But there will be, there is no question that, that in the next uh, bull market, um, uh, there will be others who will, who will be looking for opportunities. When the market turns, um, we will probably find others that are trying to, trying to move in somewhat that same direction.